Hi, welcome to this tutorial, diving deeper into the Slide Clips timeline. Let's get started. The slide timeline is a visual representation of where animations in your work area start and stop for the selected slide. As I choose various elements on the slide, you can see that the timeline updates with a blue bar. This is a visual display of your animation for that element. On that blue bar, you'll either see a green section, which will show an entrance effect, or see a yellow section, which will show an exit effect. So if I change this entrance to a fly-in, you'll see that the green section appears. That's how long it takes for that entrance effect to play. I will lengthen this entrance effect and we'll preview how it looks. Okay, that looks pretty good, but say I want to change it to a different effect. I can click the Entrance button again and get the menu, and I can use the slider to slide right, and I'm going to go Zoom Out and play the slide, and you'll see the Zoom Out effect start to play at 3 seconds in. If I want to add an Exit effect, I would click on the Exit button, and I will get the menu for the exit effects. I'll click Fly All Up, and you can see that the orangish yellow section appears now on my blue bar, showing the exit effect. If I need more time at the end of my slide, I can change the duration of my slide by clicking on the Seconds button located here. When I do that, it opens up my Timeline Control Panel, and you can see at the top of this panel a slide duration. If I drag that to the right, I can lengthen my slide however long I need it. Underneath the slide duration in your timeline control panel, you'll also see all the elements in your work area that are animated. This is a good way to get a look at all your animation, how it lines up across the timeline without having to select each element individually to see its animation on the timeline. Now hit Apply, and hit Close, and now my timeline is stretched out to 12 seconds instead. Okay, let's take a look at how the timeline works with title art grouped elements. Let's go to the second slide. Here, we will find three groups containing shapes, text, and animations. If I click on the first group, you can see it has an appear entrance effect that starts at zero seconds on the timeline. The second group starts at two seconds. And the third group begins at four seconds. Let's play that and see how it looks. Okay, now we will double click this group to open it in the group editor. All the elements of this group are now broken apart and can be selected individually. If we take a look at the group timeline and click through the elements, you can see how different elements inside this group start at various times on the group's timeline. The group's timeline is completely separate and free from the main slide timeline. This allows for easy inserting of groups that are pre-designed and animated and can be placed anywhere on the main timeline. So let's click out of the group editor by clicking close group editor at the bottom right here. Now let's do a quick recap. We have this group animated on the slide's main timeline and inside that group are multiple elements that are also animated on the group's timeline inside the group. So if we move the animation that's on the group in the slide's main timeline, all the animation that is inside the group will also move to start at that point on the main timeline. Let's preview that. You can see now all the groups come in at the same time. 
Well, that pretty much wraps up this Slide Clips Timeline tutorial. Thank you so much for watching.